Clinton last week announced on Sunday that she's going to be running for president again. So some people are excited about it. Some people are just like not into it at all. Right. And I mean, I feel like she's had a steady rise in her career. You know, she is someone who is qualified. Right. But we're going to see, you know, how politics go from now till next year. A whole bunch of things will come out, a whole bunch of debates. And her camp, they actually de detailed that she's not going to be doing so much of the big tours. Right. Now she wants to meet directly with the voters. That's so a good strategy. It's good That's strategy right. because I feel like for politicians, when people get to meet you one-on-one, -on -one, they feel like, oh, you know, they're a down-to-earth person. Maybe they do care about me. A whole yeah, thing goes into it. Them, exactly. So how do you feel about her running again? Uh, I don't have a pretty well-formed political opinion at my age. But I think it takes a lot of balls to get up and run again when you ran against Barack Obama and lost. <laughs> so yeah, that's yeah, great. I yeah. think that she definitely has the credentials to be a great leader. And it would be awesome to have a woman president. So I guess we'll see how the campaign goes. Yeah, I mean, it should be interesting to see. I, I took a class actually when I was in college where you go over the statistics and the reasons why people vote. Uh -huh. So a lot of people, not a lot of people go out and actually review the candidate's resume and say they yeah. served here, they served there. Or even when you hear these proposals, which it's politics, mm -hmm. some of these proposals are not always realistic. Right. But um, not everyone goes out there and informs themselves, which would we would encourage for everyone to do for whoever you're voting for. You should always actually check their credentials and check what policies they're trying to enforce and see how realistic they are. Now, the thing is, a lot, some people vote just, she's a woman, so I'm going to vote for her. Yeah. Period. That's a poor reason yeah. to choose for anybody. Yeah. So we're going to see. Mark Rubio also announced that he's running last week. So, But that deserves a whole segment <laughs> about politics and the 2016 elections, which I'm very excited for to see how it turns out. Mm -hmm. So last thing I want to talk about is Aaron Hernandez. He was a football player for the Patriots. This week, he was uh, convicted of first-degree murder. Um, and the the killing of I believe his first name Odin is Odin Lloyd, right? Odin, yeah, there Odin you go. Lloyd. I believe, yep, Odin Lloyd in 2013. So this happened two years ago. He was with two other of his friends. And if you watched the trial and the pieces, they've had a lot of they had a lot of evidence to review the yeah. jury. Um, and if you watch the trial and you just see his body language. It's just, he shows no sign of remorse at all. I don't know if this is on advice of his attorney. Just keep it calm. Don't, don't give any emotion. Mm -hmm. Or who advised him to do that? Or maybe he wanted to do that himself. But throughout the trial, you see that he actually winks at, at his fiance. He says, I love you to her. I just didn't see a moment where he seemed like he wasn't being cocky. You know, so in his mind, he might think, I didn't do it, so whatever, it's a mistake on their part anyways. Right. Who knows? But it's it's such a waste of a handsome guy to say yeah, what a waste of a hot and, guy. Yeah, wow, and a go, talented Andrew. football player. I, if I'm not mistaken, he was worth $40 million or something like that. All He's a good-looking dude, athletic, girls want I mean, he had a fiancé, but I'm sure tons of women wanted him. Yeah. The money, the fame, everything. And he yeah. threw it away because he wanted to be a thug. And it's yeah. sad. Some people never grow out of that mentality. Yeah, which actually, prior to him signing to the Patriots, he already had a history of being a troubled football player. He already that. had a history of bar fights and things like that. So it, it could definitely be a result of his upbringing. We're not sure. But to see when they said you are guilty of first-degree murder, and you guys have to watch this, Google it, YouTube it, his reaction, I mean... He didn't even flinch. No emotion. He didn't no even emotion. flinch. Life in prison without the possibility yes. of parole. Yes, yes. And sources no say that he told the, secu the police officers that would escort him in and out of the courthouse, you know, it is what it is. That's what he allegedly said after. We don't know if it's 100% true. That sounds like someone's guilty. I mean, it's, I mean it's, a, it's, it's a waste of a life. It's a waste Honestly. of a life, it's a waste of a handsome football player, and it's the waste of the people's tax dollars to be keeping this guy alive in jail <laughs> for the rest of his life. And he's also standing trial for two more cases, if I'm yes. not mistaken. Yes. I don't have the details on those cases yet, but... One after the other, like I mean, honestly, this guy is savage, just straight savage. Yeah, he does have a beautiful smile though, he which does. he was flashing in court. <laughs> so, shoulders. what do you have for us today? <laughs>